Alright, hey there guys. So, on my last video, I um, I changed out my second glass to have a AK. Um, I thought I'd give one of the, well, they submachine guns a go. So I've gone for the uh, Kiparis, uh, with the more armor penetrating um, ammo. So yeah, let's see what game we get. Let's have a go. Alright, so it's another game of research. Um, at the school, so this would have been an excellent place to have the uh, shotgun. But we'll have to try and make do with our submachine gun. Um, if it all goes to rat shit, then we'll pull out the. Uh, the damn enemy are attacking our right flank. Ooh, well, it can't be, not already. Uh, yeah, I'll pull out the sniper rifle. And try and pop them around the edges. If anyone tries coming down the flanks, so oh, there we go. Thank God there was another guy in here with me. All right, so we've all oh, piss. Oh well. Alright, so it looks like we're capturing C. Uh, someone's actually thought ahead. Uh, looks like we need to. Oh! That is the problem with this map. Everyone loves to go right around the side and just kill you as you spawn. So I am going to pick up my sniper rifle for a second here and make sure that no one's being an arsehole. Because I do hate it when you're just getting spawn killed. Really does ruin the game. Can't see anyone. Hopefully they've been killed and they've buggered off. Uh, we'll have to just put up with what we've got now. <laughs> Try and make do with the sniper. Um, so yeah, while I'm playing the games, I thought I'd talk about what's happened to me recently. Um, and what happened to me most recently, well, anything of interest anyway, is I broke down. Um, so I was, I was driving home, I was looking forward to it because, you know, You know, I was going home from a, a week's of work, oh dear, and I was on the motorway, looked down, and my temperature sensor, temperature gauge, was this, oh my god, it was just started flying up, yeah, I captured it, uh, yeah, so I pulled over, um, I don't know if you've ever experienced Oh, damn it. We'll go back to the Caparis. Uh, yeah, I don't know if you've ever experienced breaking down before, but it was absolutely crap. I was at the side of the motorway. It was drizzling. Um, they say you're meant to sort of like stand on the the embankment and all that, but I ended up just sitting in the car because the traffic was so rubbish. Um, it wasn't moving, so I was just sitting in my car um, waiting for the, the recovery guy to come along. Well, the guy that's meant to fix my car on the roadside. So I'm, I'm oh, damn it. Yeah, I'm waiting for him. It takes like an hour and a half. The people on the phone are telling me he's like ten minutes round the corner constantly. But it takes it takes an hour and a half for him to get to me, which is which is really annoying. Um, if they just you know said to me said it to me straight away, oh it's going to take an hour and a half. Pretty would have been happy, but the fact that you know had to keep ringing up and be like, oh yeah, you know, is he here yet? Tips. Um, yeah, that annoyed me. So the guy turned up, and it turns out that my fan, radiator fan, had stopped working. So, it was like, well, is it the fan that's working? Is it the electric that's working? So I asked him to, um, you know, try and fix it at the roadside. He sort of wired it up to see if it'd work, and couldn't get it to work. 
So he said that the only thing to do is to um, get me recovered. Oh, tits. Bloody hell, what was he? Really? Bloody hell. A pistol. A pistol beat me. Anyway. Am I going the wrong way? Sorry. <laughs> oh, wait, that's it's like a completely enclosed room. Whatever. So, yeah. Um, it turns out the company that I'm with... They had my wrong number, um, so I was I was sitting there at the roadside for absolutely ages, waiting. So I ring I ring them up and I'm like, am I am I getting recovered? Because it's a miserable day and I'd really like to go home. And they tell me, oh yeah yeah yeah, they're uh, they're just around the corner. We'll get in contact with you, and it'll all be fine. So two hours later. Um, this really nice guy actually turns up and he's like oh yeah yeah we'll we'll pop your car on and I actually thought that he was gonna take me home um, you know put the car on the back drive me to my house that's the end of that but no apparently he that's like out of his driving radius I didn't realize these guys had like a radius I just thought they pick people up and they drive them to wherever they need to go you know, that, that's, they've got the person, they've got the car, so they, I would have thought they'd just go. Obviously not. So he ended up taking me in the opposite direction to which I wanted to go. Um, oh, hell. Yeah, back around the M25. Um, I'm trying to go sort of like counterclockwise. And he took me anti-clockwise because that's where the higher car is. So I end up getting some horrible little Renault Clio hire car. Um, it's, it's pretty new, but because I've I've got a three series BMW, so I'm used to sort of having like a big, nice, comfy car. Um, yeah, and then I go to this little, tiny little Renault Clio, and I, I just feel tiny on the motorways, and you know I've got lorries going past me. Oh my god. God damn it. But yeah, this is the first time I've ever actually had breakdown cover. Um I bought it with my insurance. So I know I never thought I'd I'd need it because I'm I'm car savvy. I, I know what's going on with my car. Um, but obviously this was the site I couldn't fix on the roadside so thankfully I had recovery um, oh is there anyone in here no okay tits where do you, you pissing going around in corners a little bugger that's why you need a shotgun in this situation um, so yeah I'm not sure sort of how old you are if you've got a car at the moment and you're doing long journeys I, w I would definitely advise for you to have breakdown cover and if you don't have a car yet because you're too young when you get your first car get breakdown cover because even if you know how to fix cars you're never going to be able to fix them at the roadside that was oh my god this, this is just another game going to... Oh, I've brought up the debug again. Is that warning? Warning? Full resync? Ooh. Alright, let's go, let's go to it's gone to shit mode and start sniping down the sides. If I kill them, they're having to respawn, right? But yeah, that's that's pretty much the, the, the moral of my story is you should even if you know about cars you should probably have some form of breakdown cover because you never know when it's gonna oh, oh tits come on I thought we were close bloody pistol again what is that pistol what the an APS I'm gonna look for that because it's only a level 4 I bet it's another faction isn't it like a because like, I'm the scavengers But yeah, I've, I've, I'm 25, so I've been driving for quite a while now. I never thought that I'd be 
broken down on the side of a motorway. It's just by chance I actually decided to have breakdown cover this year. So yeah, it's, it's like I knew. But yeah, definitely top tip there, get breakdown cover. Um, this really has gone to brat shit this game. What the hell? Yeah, see, he's just picking people off coming down the side. There's people running around with overpowered pistols. It's ridiculous. Oh, saw you. Where are you? Oh, that looked like it was on. That didn't. <laughs> Can't even see where he is now. Nope. Don't know why I shot again. <laughs> Let's reload it. Let's get rid of you. Not everyone's. Oh dear. Oh, is he actually coming for me? I really, I really don't want that. Because I am not good for up close, and we've been defeated again. Oh dear. Get the trousers. Trousers look like they might be good. Spare parts. Spare parts are good. Oh well. Thanks for watching, guys. It's been Severium. I'll see you next time. Bye bye.